Hi guys, I'm today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a DIY water pouch. So first I put some marker around the lines. Well, I put ink because I couldn't find any of my markers because there was a bunch of Christmas stuff over it and I couldn't lift it up. So then you're going to you're going to need water, a marker. You're going to need water, a marker and some fuse beads or any kind of beads you want. So I'm going to go grab my feet. Fuse beads. Because I just got them down. Where did I put those? Please don't tell me I just put it in the kitchen and then I just left the kitchen. I probably just did. Oh, no, I actually put it in my bedroom. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a few of these to the kitchen. And now that you got, you need a plastic bag, a marker, and now your few speeds. And what you're going to do with the marker is you're going to put it on the plastic bag. Then you're going to put some beads into the bag. I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to pick out the watercolor beads because like, I just love water. Like the colors of the sea and stuff. So because I just love the sea. Okay. Drop some on the ground. Okay. So I'm going to use this very light blue. And I'm going to use a little bit of dark blue. I'll use some yellow for like starfishes. I'll use um, a bright green for like the for like the um, seaweed and like this kind of green, like an April Fool's green. A little bit of purple because purple is really good to mix in with the water, so it looks pretty. And then I'm just gonna put that all in here, okay? Okay, here we go. And then I'm going to close up the bag and bring it to the sink quickly. Let's go. So I have my beads in the thing. Okay, guys. So I'm at my mini sink. So I'm going to open up the bag now. And I'm going to start pouring in water. Maybe I shouldn't put the thing so high. Maybe I shouldn't have put the thing so high. <laughs> so you're gonna halfway fill that up. And here we have a bunch of like, you know, beads with a bunch of water. And it looks very weird. It's because mine didn't touch it yet, so I have to like lift it up. And it's gonna mix the color ink in. It's not really working with ink, so you shouldn't try ink because mine's not working at all. It's just absorbing it and then letting it go. So just don't try ink, marker always works, but also don't let it dry out so fast. So I have this squishy water thing, and it's actually a really good fidget. I love it, but, um, so you're facing towards my ceiling. Didn't know that. So I'm going to open it again. Peel it, pour in some water, okay? After I poured in some more water, I'm actually going to add more beads because I did not notice how, how like overwhelmed the water is using up to the beads. So I'm going to close the bag so it doesn't spill on my way to the bead section. So here's how mine looks right now. I, my, my, my ink dried out very fast because I don't really, because I had to get my phone to film this. So, holy crap, don't let it spill out. <laughs> Like I just did. Okay, you don't want to let it spill out. Okay. Then add some fuse beads more, or any kind of beads you have. I just have fuse beads with me. And I'm just gonna add the rainbow colors now because I'm just really bored and I feel like the colors I picked out don't look very good in the water. And then I'm also gonna like dip in a marker because I was like, um, because I don't like how bland this looks. Add some yellow, okay, some green, some blue, and a little bit of purple. And then we're gonna add some clear because I think that's gonna brighten up the mood. So I like the clear because it looks very nice in the water. And now I'm going to hold this very tightly. I don't want it spilling out, okay? So this is how I'm holding it. That's how I'm holding it, okay? 
I'm gonna hold it over my rug very easily. And the, and the beads are light, so they're gonna float. So that's why you may wanna play with this a lot. Okay, so I don't want spilling, but I'm gonna dip in one of my markers. Bruh. Okay, so I should just dig this out. So I'm just gonna take everything off of it. Now I only have one hand, so this is gonna be hard. This is what I meant by like Christmas gifts. Over it, like I didn't want this to happen. Oh my God. Okay, we're pretty good. We're at five minutes and 41 seconds into the video. And we're almost done actually. <laughs> that, that's going by pretty quick. Okay. So I have this dark blue marker, so I guess I'm just gonna put it in. Cause I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna do it. So here's my bag. I'm going to go bring this to the kitchen table. It's not the kitchen table, it's the kitchen counter. So the kitchen table is way, my, my kitchen table cannot take water. It's literally going to like, break. One second, you're facing toward the back of the candle. But if you ever need to see, I always turn it around. So I'm going to actually cut. I, I'm gonna bop this in. Oh gosh, that's creepy. Okay, I'm starting to color it in. And oh my God, look at the water. Okay, I'm just gonna keep coloring and this will not affect your table. I'm coloring in it and I'm just letting it sit in here and I'm getting all the ink out with the water and then throwing out the marker. I know this is a waste of markers, but like, what's more important, fidgets or markers? And it's actually going to lose its fade in a few seconds. It's literally dark blue now. I, I love the color though, it's nice and shiny. It's literally turning white. My marker literally just turned white, so I'm just gonna go, go throw it this way now. And oh God, the fidget's coming out very good. And you're almost done with your fidget. <laughs> so I'm throwing away the, the marker because it's all wasted out. So I'm going to start taping. Well, I'm gonna start ziplocking the bag because it's a Ziploc bag I'm using right now. Trying to ziplock it very good because last time it spilled on my counter. Okay, so here we go. We have to do the test. We have to do the test to see if it leaks. And that's awesome. Because it did not leak. And this is how it came out. And also, you can go ahead and add more water if you want. But this is how it came out. It's very, it's very nice. I like the color, but I don't think I'm gonna add more water because I feel like I don't want it like overflowing and breaking the top open because that's gonna make a mess. And after it makes that big mess, it's literally going to make my mom so bad when she comes back from work, okay? And also I'm trying to close this. It's okay, you can get the one second. Okay, we got it. I just needed two hands. Sorry. So here's my pouch. And this is how the fidget pouch works. So you lay it down. <laughs> you gotta lay it down on the right side, right? And you can just like start playing with it. It's actually a very nice consistency. But now I, I'm saying this is way too much air and I cannot touch the water inside of it. So I'm just gonna go fill it up with more water. I'm not gonna bring you guys with me because I don't want my phone falling in the water. Right? Gotcha. Okay. And the more water you add, and the more water you add, the more like bigger it gets. Like, and the more lighter the color gets. Just trying to do a thing. And I love the color right now. Like, I don't want to get rid of it. 
but I also want to make it a little lighter. That's why I'm adding more water. And it's also easier to use when there's more water. And sorry, I had to put my phone down because I didn't want it to fall in the water. Because I thought the other time I was going to fall in the water too. <laughs> okay, ah, it's leaking. I might need like a last or something. <laughs> Well, it's a nice squishy, and I really like it. That's all for my fidget water pack tutorial. Bye!